create the back wheel of the CO2 car. And in order to do that, we have to take a look at our drawing and uh, look at some of the important elements, and then we'll start to narrow it down. It looks like a lot of information at the beginning, but once we start to narrow it down and we start to remember how we did previous items like this, it'll all start to click. So important bits of information, we need the outside diameter of this circle and the inside diameter of this circle to create our basic shape. And then from there, we'll worry about the intricate parts and stuff like that. So looking at this graphic, our outside diameter is one and a half and our inside diameter is 0.75. So what I'm going to do is create a 1.5 uh, diameter circle. I'm going to extrude it back. So if we move up here to our top view, we'll see that it's 0.75 in uh, thickness. So I'll extrude that 1.5 diameter circle 0.75 inches. From there, I'll take a 0.75 circle from the center point and extrude that back 0.625 to remove that material so you can see from the hidden lines here that we'll have to do that. So let me open up my uh, CO2 car and you'll see that I already have my wheels, but I'll start a new part and we'll create it from scratch. So I'll create new part studio and right off the bat, I want to rename that to back wheel. All right now, obviously I have a back wheel, so let me just differentiate so I don't get those confused back wheel two. All right, so I'm going to start a new sketch on the front plane. Make sure I rotate my view, take my center point circle and draw that one and a half inch outside circle. From there, I can extrude that part 0.75. All right, so I mentioned after I extrude it, I'm going to come back in and create a new sketch on the front plane of that circle. Rotate my view so that I can get that center point on the origin. And I'm going to click and draw a circle out 0.75. From there, I'm going to extrude that back and I'm going to make sure I remove. Uh, again, we're going to look at the drawing 0.625. So it's measuring to that hidden line there, right? 0.625. We'll hit OK, right? So then we get our basic shape before we add the extras like the axle uh, spot and our pattern to create our wheel. You'll also notice that there's a little circle that's 0.125 inches that comes out a little bit as well right here. Uh, it is missing a dimension unfortunately, but that is uh, 0.125 as well. So it just pokes out a little bit to give a little bit more depth to that wheel. All right, so uh, let's do the axle part first and then we'll do the uh, wheel pattern here last. So looking at this, uh, I'm going to come onto the back side of my wheel and I'm going to draw just a simple circle. So it looks like a rectangle here, but it is giving us a diameter symbol. Uh, I'm going to draw a simple circle that is 0.25 in diameter, and then I'm going to extrude it out 0.375. And then from there, I'm going to draw a circle on the inside that is 0.125 and extrude that back 0.375 because right, it stops right here. All right, and that's where your axle will go. It'll uh, sit inside that spot. So I'm going to create a new sketch on the back plane of that circle. Rotate my view plane so I'm looking straight on, and I'm going to make it 0.25. From there, I can extrude that circle out. That was 0.325, I believe. Let me double check that. 0.375, sorry, 0.375. All right, now hit the check mark, create a new sketch on the inside of that. So it's almost like you're creating the same thing that you just did on the front, just a smaller version. 0.125 and extrude that to remove 0.375. All right, so there we have our axle slot. The only thing we need to do is create our pattern.
pattern on the front and add that little uh, part on the uh, center to create a little bit more depth. And then finally add our fillet to the outside of the wheel. So I'm going to start a new sketch on the inside of the wheel here. And I'm going to take my center point circle and highlight my origin. I'm not going to click on it. I'm just going to highlight it to get that dotted line. So I just move my mouse over it and I'm going to draw a line out and I'm going to make that one eighth of an inch. So one slash eight. Point one two five. And then I'm going to dimension that and say I want this to be whoops. I still have the circle tool. I want to dimension that. If it'll let me click on it, geez. I'm grabbing my dimension tool for some reason. There we go. I'm going to dimension that and make it um, 3 16 3 slash 16. And it'll bump it up a little bit to 0.18. It's actually 875, but it rounds it to the thousands place there. So uh, we want it to be that far away from the center point. That way, whenever we spin the eight around it, there's enough room. So from there, I can take my, if I come up here, you'll see the linear pattern. We want a circular pattern. And once you select that, it wants you to select your circle first. It'll base it around the origin point. And right now it says there's three of them. We want there, there to be eight. So I'll do eight, hit enter. And there you have eight different circles all spaced evenly around the origin point. From there, you can end it and extrude all eight circles. You want to make sure you select them all. And remove through all and hit the check. Then we're going to add that little nub by creating a drawing on the same face. Grab the origin point and just make that. Uh, is it one eighth? Let me double check that. 0.125. Yeah, it is one eighth. So one eighth here. And then we extrude that out. One eighth as well. Mm. Actually, no, that's out too far. So let's go back in, grab that extrude. Let's change that. Instead of 1 8, let's do 1 16. Yeah, that looks more right. That looks correct. So we bring that back 1 16. It gives a little bit more depth there. And it looks like the axle is going all the way through to that point. All right. From there, we can just uh, fill it the side profile of this. So you grab it, fill it. Click on the side profile. Now our wheel is not filleted that much. It's actually filleted 0 0.05. So enough to give it a little bit of definition, but really not that much. Something like that, right? And that looks pretty accurate to what it looks like in real life. From there, you can change the color. You can make your wheels whatever color you would like. Uh, if you make it black, it really washes out a lot of detail. You really can't see. So if you want it to be black, go with like a gray. That way you could still see some some definition there all right after you make your wheel you can head on over and make your wheel drawing it should look something like this good luck